Okay, this was a huge turning point in the game. The Lakers had a sure layup to go up six points with three minutes and 15 seconds to go, but Steph Curry got Kyle Kuzma to run him over, and so that took away the basket, and then Steph got two free throws, so now we're down to a two-point lead instead of a six-point lead, and then on the ensuing inbounds, I think LeBron is just distracted and pissed or something because of the previous play, and Kelly Oubre does not give up on the play, signaling first down, change of possession. This is one of these hustle plays that 99% of the time doesn't work out, but when it does, it's massive. So Steve Kerr calls a timeout. The sideline out of bounds play is a variation of the play from the end of the Bulls game. So let's go back and review that real fast. So the big idea in this play is that Andrew Wiggins gets a double screen from Steph and Looney, and then Steph will follow Andrew Wiggins to get another screen from Looney. Steph setting the screen, Looney will have a second screen waiting for Wiggins. After Wiggins goes through, Steph is going to follow him. And the key thing to notice is that in this play, Kelly Oubre is going to clear out to the corner and just spot up the first screen second screen. Then Looney is going to set another screen for Steph, who's going to follow Wiggins. You may remember the play didn't go quite as planned. This defender jumps out in order to stop Steph Curry's cut here because his man got whacked by Looney, so Steph would be open. But now, when the defender jumps over, this pass is available where Damian Lee can throw it over to Looney and do a quick give and go, and then let's just enjoy the rest of this play. Ah, very satisfying. Okay, so you see almost the same play in the Lakers game. You have Wiggins running around a screen from Steph and Looney. Wiggins is already looped around. He's getting a screen from Looney. He already got a screen from Steph. Steph is going to follow Wiggins and get another screen from Looney, just like the previous play. But do you see what's different? In the Bulls play, Kelly Oubre just cleared out all the way to the corner, so he wasn't really involved in the play. In this game, Oubre has had a great game. He made a gigantic hustle play. Steve Kerr is going to reward him by putting him in this play we're going to have Wiggins looping, Steph is going to follow Wiggins, and then Kelly is going to get a screen from Looney. So Looney's setting three screens. I hope the Warriors are getting a bulk discount on his screens. So there's Wiggins getting the first screen. Here's Steph getting a screen from Looney. Let's take stock of what's happened here. Wiggins is cutting through, so he's occupying this defender. LeBron is guarding the inbounder. Steph is cutting through. He's occupying this defender. Looney is setting a screen for Kelly Oubre, who's going to get the inbound pass. And the only two defenders that are focused on him are this man who's getting screened and Anthony Davis. There's a lot of space here for Oubre to start a drive. There's the pass. He blows by Caldwell Pope. Anthony Davis is preoccupied because Looney is cutting behind him. So Anthony Davis, I believe, is trying to split the difference between challenging Oubre's drive and making sure Oubre can't dump it off to Looney for a dunk. And that's going to give Oubre just enough space so that he can do this really slippery move to sneak a layup right by Anthony Davis. That's a beautiful shot. And that is the turning point of the entire game. Instead of being up six with three minutes to go, it's suddenly a tie game with three minutes to go, and it's happened in the most depressing way possible. So huge plays by Kelly Oubre to save the Lakers game.